Well, Canada's union leaders have been dealt a heavy blow by Ottawa. Last night, a, few, a new bill was passed to amend the Income Tax Act and force unions to make their finances and expenditures public. For more, we're joined by Rebecca Thompson in our Toronto newsroom. Good morning, Rebecca. Good morning. Well, Pat, there's many reasons why Russ Hebert, who is a backbencher conservative MP, introduced this bill. Now, one of the reasons is lack of transparency that unions have in how they spend their money. Uh, he, among other conservative MPs, argued for many months that they heard grumblings from their constituents about unions funding uh, student protests in Quebec uh, that were uh, unions unions funding uh, separatist parties, union funding, unions um, funding other pol political parties, and one of the concerns was that their, uh, that unions were in a, essentially operating as black ops uh, behind the scenes. Now, um, conservatives argue that the public has the right to know how unions are spending their members' dues. Now, dues are tax deductible, and according to the Tories, uh, they <clears throat> they cost Ottawa $500 million in foregone revenue every year. Now, the vote was 147 to 135, and the vote will now go to the Senate. It will amend the Income Tax uh, Act, Pat. It will force labor bosses to disclose their salaries and bonuses and exactly how they're steered to political activity. There's specific rules that unions will, um, will, will now be subject to, and now... Canada Revenue Agency will spend the next couple of years trying to institute these new rules, but they must annually file their salaries, uh, annually file their expenditures, as well as file the time spent on political activity. So this is this is new in Canada. This is a significant uh, bill that was passed. Originally, it was a private members' bill, and now it is, uh, it, and it was supported by the majority of the uh, of the government. Now there are five Conservative MPs who didn't vote for it, including. Uh, an Edmonton Conservative MP, Brent Rathberger, he said that uh, the public uh, has the right to know what, for instance, the Law Society uh, would have to uh, fund, but in fact, the Law Society doesn't fall under this legislation. Now, uh, Justin Trudeau didn't even show up for the vote, even though he was in Ottawa just two hours prior to the vote doing a media interview in Ottawa. Now, uh, NDP leader Thomas Mulcair, uh, he didn't vote for this. In fact, what he, he, he argued uh, uh, aggressively against it and, and essentially says that this is going to be up for uh, a court challenge at some point. So this has definitely uh, caused some uh, frustration in Canada among union bosses who are specifically targeted in this uh, legislation, um, but it was uh, certainly something that the Conservatives uh, thought was a victory last night, Pat. Okay, Rebecca, thanks very much. Thank you. We're going to pick up on a little bit of that because one of the strongest voices, as Rebecca said, to the opposition to this Bill C-377 has been the NDP. Our David Aiken had the opportunity to sit down with the leader of the official opposition, Thomas Mulcair, for an exclusive one-on-one. -on -one. We want to show you a clip from that now because Mulcair says he supports the role unions play in eliminating workplace inequality. Of course, the NDP has always worked with ordinary Canadians, mm -hmm. with working people, whether they're unionized or not, to try to make Canada a better place for everyone. But the whole idea of social democracy is to try to remove inequalities in our society. And we've seen historically that working people were left in workplaces where they weren't protected from danger and workplace health and safety legislation came in thanks to the work of organized labor. So that's just a part of a, an exclusive interview that the National Bureau Chief uh, David Aiken did with Thomas Mulcair. You can catch it in full tonight, 6 p.m. Eastern, right here on Sun News Network.